Hey guys, it's Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely, where we carry the largest selection of wood flowers in the United States. Today's tutorial is all about my dad. That's all there is to it. Welcome back to another tutorial here at Oh Your Lovely. Now I do need to just do a disclaimer real fast. I don't normally don't have to do these. We're pretty like we we make content to make everybody happy. At least we try to. This one, some people might not like this project, and that's okay. It's not for you. Just just I don't leave me a million comments. And if you do, I'm just gonna just wish you the best and ignore it. Um, this definitely is gonna be a project that it might upset a couple people, and that's okay, but this is for my dad, and it's something that I know he'll love, and I know that others within the community have wanted to do these projects or have an idea of how to even start on this project. So, with that in mind, do I have you intrigued? Are you like, ooh, where's the tea on this one? Stay tuned, we're gonna show you all of the supplies, and then there might be a light bulb moment of like, oh, that's what she's talking about. All right, let's jump into it. The supplies we're gonna use, I have some dried filler, a range of different solar flowers, both in raw form with bark, as well as some bark that have been dyed. My dad's favorite color is blue, so there's a fair amount of blue mixed in there. Some artificial filler, this is the seeded eucalyptus. Little bits and bobs from my baskets. Uh, with the color palette we're going and here is the piece that might get a couple people upset but a set of deer antlers these can be artificial or real however whatever you want so i'm gonna hope that my arm doesn't get in the way of this so what we're gonna do i think the first thing that i'm gonna do is kind of figure out my placement for some of my granary. We're not gonna use nearly all of the pieces that I have on hand. Um, I'm not even sure that I'm gonna keep them on the wires as I have them. Uh, my envisioning of this piece though, is that my dad is gonna use this kind of as a, a setting, like a set down place, not like this mounted, but rather to lay down on a tabletop or on a shelf. So I think because the one antler is broken I think we're going to hide that lovely piece and we'll do just a little peekaboo on the other side I did go with a lot of greenery that has a lot of flow to it um, to add kind of some interesting movement to the piece kind of overgrown whimsical kind of uh, almost like a, a crown if you will this is for my dad, so I'm gonna try not to be too extra extra, but I am his daughter, and he knows that I cannot help myself of being extra extra. So again, I'm gonna focus a lot of my um, adding stuff to that side. We'll kind of create some others there. I'm feeling kind of good about that right now and that placement. I might take these individual leaves and kind of glue them into place. I don't know that I need this whole big piece. Um, we also do have some of the dry filler that will be fun oh will be fun to add as well oh i'm excited about that piece right there i'm gonna get a little guy i've got like a little one right here to add in there okay feeling good about that so i'm gonna kind of move some stuff over and we'll start gluing it down all right this is what we call progress i took a picture <laughs> so like I grab it all and I'm like, don't grab it all at once. Okay, hopefully I kind of get an idea. Remember where we want stuff. <laughs> Probably not, but well, we're gonna try to remember where to put everything. Oh, and I'm gonna need something to help hold the glue down. That's not my finger. Okay, let's rock and roll. try to keep most of my glue um, points in a similar place so we have just a fair amount of glue in one area 
and not all over the piece, which seems to be in that spot, which is where, let's just be honest, a flower is going to go, so it's gonna hide all of our mechanics. This is where we're, this is where we're at at the moment. Our crown has started to form. I feel good about this where we're at. We're gonna stop, we're gonna put in some flowers. I even got an idea of kind of where I want the placement of flowers uh, a few minutes ago as we were waiting for Vikram to warm up. So we're gonna bring in the flowers and then we'll finish it with probably adding just a few little pieces of like some dried baby's breath. Where is that? There it is, some dried baby's breath. Um, or maybe I also pulled this like faux succulent that has a little, but just for a little pop of dramatic, so. All right, let's get the flowers in and then we'll go from there. All right, so let me give you an idea of what I'm thinking. We're gonna have our real big flower right there in the corner. I wanna add a bark flower in there. And then we're gonna go heavy on the blues since that's my dad's favorite color. And I don't like even numbers usually, so we'll finish it off with a little guy on that corner. So heavy on this side, which is where most of our stuff is, but then kind of bring it on to finish off the piece. Okay, so let's get those in place. This one I know for sure I want to glue down first. The rest, it's going to be an interesting little dance we're going to play of what goes what and where. I kind of, I think I love it this way. Okay, if I love that that way, then this one actually might need to get glued in first now that I'm looking at this. Mm -hmm. Oh crud. Oh crud, she said, no, I like that. I think I like that. Or maybe I only do I think I like that better. Sorry, Dad. I know it's a gift for you and all that, but we're only gonna do one blue flower. Dad, feel free to leave a comment down below. How disappointed. <laughs> or okay you are with that. All right. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh. Actually, my dad is one of my biggest cheerleaders and was a big part of how Oh Your Lovely came to be what Oh Your Lovely is today. Without his and my mom's support, things wouldn't have nearly progressed quickly as quickly as they did all those, like almost three years ago now, you guys. Oh my gosh, crazy. Once again, time flying, won't get weepy, but boy oh boy, do I kind of want to be. All right. Oh, like perfect right there. I am going to trim this down just a little bit. That tail, can you see that? It kind of goes out a little bit. So we're gonna grab our scissors. That's where we're at at the moment. Now we're gonna add in some filler, like there's a little hole there, a couple other things. So let's get finishing the, the final touches and then we're basically done. Okay, so I remembered that I wanna add one more of the eucalyptus leaves to tell the story across. Now these are really thin plastic, so they do tend to start to melt as soon as you get hot glue on them. Um, but that's okay, as long as you get it in there, just nice and quick. You should be fine. I say that and then I'm like, oh, not going in there. Not going in there. We might have to try it one more time. That's a good spot for it. 
Okay, I'm gonna try it one more time. All right, so I am I am looking at this in both the laying down position as I want it, but also if my dad decides he wants to hang it somehow, he'll figure that part out, not me. There are some like little bits, oops, little bits of like little holes, so to speak, that I want to take care of. I also have some glue here that I don't want on there. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go in with some dried baby's breath. And I'm just gonna take off little bits and bobs of it. All these little individual pieces we can sprinkle throughout or you can take them in little bunches um, to give it a little bit more of a dynamic. But a little bit goes a long way in kind of pulling everything together. So what we're gonna do is I've got this little bunch in my hand. I'm gonna add just a little bit of glue. Let's see. We're gonna put glue on those little itty bitty bits. The end of there, but I am gonna even cut it down a little bit more. So I just need a little bit in there and then I'm gonna put that in there. So we're gonna add a little glue to that. And then once I get it in there, I kind of fluff it a little bit. Just a tiny, just a tiny about. Okay, so I've got these tiny little purple pieces that if we're gonna use this, I'm gonna cut them off individually off of this little bunch. Let's just try one. I'm gonna take one off right now and see if we like it. I'm kinda digging it. I'm kinda digging it. So, yeah. I'm digging it. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Just add a little glue to the bottom base of that. Slide it into the different spots that I want with the hopes and the confidence that it's gonna hit something with that glue and it's just gonna stick into place since they're not very big or long. But we're kinda nestling them into different spots throughout the piece. Then I'm gonna stand it up and see if there's anything else, even though, again, I'm envisioning it as a laying down piece, but I need to know that my dad might not think the same. So I wanna make sure once it's standing up, still feel like we're missing something right there. I think I'm gonna grab a baby munchkin. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so the munchkins are super, super, super tiny. Uh, and they're perfect for this kind of thing where you just need something to fill in the spot, but it's not a, something, a ton of stuff that you need. So, here we go. I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue to the bottom base. Now, when you're using the munchkins, be careful because you're there's not a lot to them as far as to grip. So, be careful when you're holding on to them. You don't glue your fingers because that will hurt a lot. All right, I think, I think she's done. All right, you guys, I think, I think it's done. I did go back in, I'll be honest, I did one more thing right at the end. Remember that one piece of greenery that fell off? I just, I popped it right there, and then I added one more of that same kind of greenery over here to fill in that space a little bit, adjusted a few things, and I think I added just a few more pieces of baby's breath, because I cannot help myself. I cannot help myself. So now I'm gonna take off all of the little uh, little spider webs, as I like to call them, of glue. Um, fun little tip trick if you want, when you have something like this, take a um, hair dryer, or I have an embossing gun, and I use this every once in a while. Just run it through, that heat then 
reactivates the glue and it melts down and you no longer have those stringies in place. Otherwise you can be like me and you just keep picking them. It's this weird satisfaction. But I swear, I always like, I think I got them all and then I find another one and it drives me nuts. Like right now. All right, I'll stop. Oh, no, no, not gonna stop. Yes, I'll stop. Okay, there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, if it's something that's not your cup of tea, that's okay. I'm sure I'll do another video t next week that is your cup of tea. Actually, last week's video, wait, what? Are, there was a video with uh, a teacup just recently. <laughs> The days and the months are starting to blend. I can't remember up or down or left or right lately. Okay, so once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If this is something that you've been fascinated or wondering how you just glue the sucker. You could also use E6000. Um, we've done the trick before where you use E6000 and then you add a little bit of hot glue and in the meantime, and what happens is the hot glue um, puts everything in place and holds it there for you while the E6000 cures overnight because it takes um, about 24 hours for E6000 to cure it. You could also do that as well, but I just hot glue everything and it's worked for me. I always use hot, hot glue though and not low temp glue and I, I'm pretty sure that matters. All right, so there it is. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope my dad likes it. And if he doesn't, he'll say he does because that's just what dads do. He'll say thank you and then it'll go I don't know where it'll go, but nonetheless, he'll say thank you. Um, for all the dads out there, happy Father's Day. I think this goes live right around that time, so I hope everybody has a lovely Father's Day. Um, say hi to your dad, tell him how amazing he is, all that good stuff. If you're loving these videos, can't get enough, wanna know when the next one goes live, make sure to subscribe and Ring that bell. If you're new around here, want to give the soul of flowers along with craft supplies and greenery a try, use the code YouTube30 to get 30% off your first order. I think that's it. You guys have a lovely day. We'll see you super soon. I'm Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely, and you, my friends, are absolutely lovely. Bye, guys. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Love you.